is going on you guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be talking about another deck profile that i created um but before we get to that i want to know do you guys want me to do a box opening of uh rise of the Udis and warrior um i know a lot of people like to see those and me personally, I, you know, I like opening these things and seeing what I get. You know, the, uh, the element of surprise is amazing when it comes up to it. But let's get right into this deck profile, right? So the leader is this new uh, remastered version of the uh, Super Saiyan God Son Goku. <laughs> the Soul Striker Reborn, I think that's what it's called on the other side. But, you know... I like it because they did switch up a little bit here. So this one is uh, the auto is when this card attacks. Choose one, draw one, switch up to your one mono blue energy to active mode, which is just like the original. But then the second, the awaken is where it, it changes. Is when your life is at four or less. If you have a blue unison with a specified cost of three in play, you may draw two cards and flip it over. So you don't need to wait for your life to be at four. As long as you have a unison, a unison card with three, a cost of three or more, you can uh, pretty much uh, awaken him. Uh, well, not three or more. I think it's just a cost of three and play. Just do it, you know, which you'll have plenty here in this uh, this deck. So, hey girls, there's no beautiful uh, artwork on Soul Striker here. Yeah, see, so it's... Um, Soul Striker Reborn, which is amazing. So the ability is when this card attacks, draw one card, then switch up the two mono blue energy cards to active mode. At the end, and then the second auto is at the end of the turn. Choose one of your blue unison uh, cards and switch it to active mode, which is amazing. So let me give you guys an, uh, a look at the deck, right? Like this. Real quick before we get right into it. So let's go to the first one. So I play four of these... Uh, uh, the Vegeta is the savior of the future. Uh, you know, self awakener there, you might want that. <laughs> he also gains double strike, so he'd be a 15k double strike instead of a 15k crit, like most of them. The next one is uh, I play four of these uh, Trunks Architect of Peace. You know, so for one blue, uh, if your leader card is a blue Saiyan card, when this card is used in a combo, choose one of your blue Saiyan cards with energy cost of two or less in your hand. Negated skills and played in rest mode, which you know, which is amazing, especially in this deck. You're gonna need as much as possible. I played four of these started deck Goku's. Uh, so I like the ability on this one. So the auto is add one card from your life to your hand when this card attacks, it gains 11,000 power for the duration. So because of 15k, and then uh, the second auto is when this card is killed. Look at the Simon top card look up to seven cards from the top of your deck add them add one blue units and card with a, a specified cost of two among them to your hand and then shuffle your deck which is you know pretty key here like in this deck so i play four of these uh the zeno edge of space super combos i feel your card is blue and your life is at five or less and it's your opponent's turn when you cut when you use this card when this card is used in a combo you may add one card from your energy to your hand if you do place one card from your hand to your energy then when this card is played you draw one so i like the whole recycle energy thing so if you already had a card tapped out choose that card bring it to your hand and then put another card untapped because it doesn't go in rest mode so that's actually a pretty lit ability for a super combo i play four of these guys uh another starter deck uh card here um these vegetas um the permanent ability, if your leader card is a blue Saiyan card, this card gains crit, so he's a 15k crit instantly. Then when this card is KL, draw one card and add up to one blue unison card with a specified cost of two from your drop area to your hand. So the Goku lets you bring it from your deck, and this guy bring, and the Vegeta brings it from the drop. So, you know, you're recycling those guys. I played two of these, the Trunks Hope Renewed. Uh, place this card, activate battle, place this card for, um, at the bottom of its owner's deck. If your leader card is blue and it's your opponent's turn, choose one of your blue energies and switch it to active. You're going to see a lot of cards here that are going to be uh, switching your energies. So, you know, we're going to be uh, switching them to active and using and having a lot of cards to combo out with and a lot of cards to use uh, counter plays and the gates and stuff like that. 
So far I played one of these. I'm, I just ordered another two so I can put in this deck. He's a searcher. So you just, uh, you know, you discard attacks, look at the top three cards from your deck, choose one blue saint card among them, put it in your hand and shuffle your deck. So right now I only have one, but I will be playing two, I will be playing two more. So a total of three of these guys. I also play this Janemba, Lighthearted Destroyer. Yes, I have, in this deck, I also play the other Janembas, the blue and yellow. That'll be the only card here that's uh, multicolored. But uh, yeah, this is so, turn three you already have this uh <laughs> uh janimba out the four drop janimba so that's pretty cool and uh let's go to these so i play three of these i mean four of these i said three wow four so you play this card choose two of your energies and switch them to active i play four for that reason so i play two of these Undying Spirit Sun Gohans. Counter play, play this card. If a multicolored card is in your energy, reduce the energy cost of this card by one. When you play this card, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards for energy cost of four or less, return it to their hand. And then if it's your opponent's turn, choose one of your blue energies and switch it to active. That's the theme here. <laughs> so this is one of the, I say one of the game finishers. So I play four of these uh, SS2 trunks for a brighter future. He's unique, so you can only play one at a time. But uh, the permanent, if you have a blue unison card in play, reduce the energy cost just by two. So he becomes a two drop, you know? Uh, if your leader card is a blue trunks future card, at the end of the turn, draw one card, activate battle once per turn, you know, whatever the... Uh, this is the, the killer that you want, to activate battle once per turn for two blue. This card gets 10k power and triple strike for the battle. So he becomes a 30k triple strike. Think about that. That's nasty. And these are the two that uh two Janembas I play, the Agent of Destruction. He's a barrier. Uh the energy exhaust. The auto is when this card activates the Aegis uh ability and there's no uh evil incarnate cards in your battle area other than this card place one card from the top of your opponent's deck to their drop area, which he would be the only one. So I play two of these counter plays, like <laughs> I like these cards, uh, these uh, SS Trunks God Sealing Technique. <clears throat> uh, counterplay, you can activate counterplay skills of other cards for the turn. You may discard this card from your hand. If you do, the battle card being played is returned to its owner's hand instead. If you don't, play this card. So you don't have to discard them, but you know, I'd rather not discard them and have them on the field for as another, uh, you know, support in, in case you need to combo out something or if you want to go for some straight up attacks. So the permanent, if you have a blue unit card with two or more markers in play, you can activate this card's counter skill from your hand without paying. So he's technically a free five drop coming onto the field. Think about that. So I play two of these guys, uh, the Son Goku Path of uh, Path to the Infinite. Activate main for one blue. If your leader card is blue and you also choose uh, one blue card from your energy cost with a cost of four return to its on its hand play this card from your hand So, you know solid solid. So I played two of these freezes You know old school but good double strike when you play this card Choose one of your opponents uh, battle cards to return it to their hand then choose one of uh, one of your opponents battle cards uh, And place it in the bottom of their deck uh, choose one of my battle cards and return it to my hand and then choose one of my opponent's cards and then they put it in the bottom of the deck So it's not bad Then for the unison cards, I play four of these uh, SS Rose uh, Goku block unison of extermination So he's a blocker. So he's actually pretty good. See he's three He's automatically at three cost for most of these cards that require a three cost and that you know I do have ones that are two costs and so you know, it'll be good. So the Auto is when this leader card is switched from active by your um, leader skill, add a marker to this card. So he's consistently getting markers. So this one, the activate main is a free. You don't you, you don't lose anything, you don't gain anything, but it's draw one card and choose one card in your hand and discard it. The uh, negative two is uh, activate main, choose one to one of your opponent's battle card for energy cause a four or less and place at the bottom of the owner's deck. So that's pretty much the theme of this deck. You're either destroying something, you're removing something, or they're putting it under the deck or you're switching your energy cards pretty much to active which is pretty much what you want to do so wee -wee -wee, you know so i play four of these these gogeta pursuit of power permanent if your 
Um, what is this? Uh, if your leader card is a blue saying card and you have a blue saying battle card in Rasmo, your leader does not take damage from attacks. So he's another one. See, he's a two. He's a two cost. Um, activate main for free. So you don't lose anything, you don't gain anything. So activate main, choose one of your um, leader cards or battle cards, switch it to rest mode, add a marker to this card. So this one, the negative two is activate main, draw one card and choose one of your opponent's battle cards if energy costs greater than their current energy, ignore and bury and place it to the bottom of the deck, which that's what you want. I play one of these Zennies, <laughs> one of these Zennies Cosmic uh, Unison. I did order another two, so I will be playing three in this deck. I will be like re removing certain cards, most likely like these guys and like maybe the Janembos and stuff, and then you know going straight all mono blue gangsterness in here. But for the plus two, he is a two cost. Um, so for a plus two, activate main if your leader card is a blue mono blue, which it is. Place the top card of your deck in your energy. You can't place cards in your energy area for the duration. <laughs> Or for the turn, then at the end of the turn, place uh, the card you place in the energy with, uh, with this skill in the drop area. So it's like, you know, it's there. It's there. Um, so the negative five activate main, choose all cards in the battle areas, in all battle areas. Ignore and barrier, shuffle them into the owner's deck. So it's a reset. So he, I only played this when necessary. When I played in the, when I played this deck in the tournament, um, I came in first place with this and this guy I played him only when necessary when I was playing like aggro decks and everything where I knew I had to like swap out some stuff and do like some damage to it and stuff if I knew I was gonna get my my butt whooped on uh, on anything I used the ability on that so I ordered two more of these final hopes uh slash cards because I only have one at the moment I think three is, is actually a perfect amount in this deck. You can play four, but I think three is good. So counter attack if you leader card is mono blue, switch up to one of your mono blue energies to active. Um, then choose one of your opponent's battle cards with 15k power or less, ignore and bury and return it to their hand. The permanent, if you have a blue unison card in play, you can activate this counter skill card without paying its cost. So he's pretty much a free counter. So a lot of the counters here are pretty much like the counter attack, counter plays. You know, most of them are like that. You just pretty much, since you have the unison cards and they're all blue, you're pretty much playing these guys for free. So I play four of these negates, you know, self explanatory for Weiss's Corrosions, negate the attack, and then choose one of your energy, switch it to active. And also play the Dimension Magic. So, you know, if your leader card is blue, negate the attack, choose two of your energies, and switch them to active. You know, and then Sparking Five, obviously, you can pay with one card from your life, and, you know, you go off that way. So, this is the deck. Soul Striker Reborn. Brrrat, brrrat. Magic. <laughs> so, you know, I like it. It's a fun deck. I played it exactly like this in the tournament. I won. Um, I didn't lose any of my matches. I actually went 2-0 in pretty much all the matches that I played in. Um, like I said, he was the key guy here because this whole... Uh, you know the 10k and the triple strike uh, They couldn't they didn't know what to do with that um, They couldn't handle it after you had them all tapped out and they played pretty much anything and everything and since I, I do play uh, uh, Four of these guys or three of these guys, um, you know, it's it's pretty much a win-win situation And then with these freezes here that you are consistently returning cards and stuff, you know, that's what you want You want a lot of cards that's gonna help you, you know, with help you win uh as quick as possible and then the unison cards also help for the attacking and everything else that you need so this deck is a fun deck it's pretty good um once again here's the leader the super saiyan um the remastered version of the super saiyan god son goku uh soul striker happiness uh mono blue uh or it's great for the unison cards because it lets you swap uh sw active uh switch what you're using your cards to active once it attacks so usually if you have this combo out here right here this is the one you want this is what you need so so strong because every time you use his um, this ability on this his ability kicks in and you're consistently like cycling through cards you're getting cards you're you're getting to add markers to that and then you can keep using his negative two 
to this and all that and that's what you want to do man you want to keep placing your opponent's cards as or trying to remove the field as much as possible and get it going that is the best way i think in my opinion to destroy an opponent is removing all their cards and consistently shuffling it into their decks so you know it's a good thing and once they're all tapped out it's good you will never be tapped out with this deck because every card mostly every card in this deck lets you untap either between two or one to two cards every single time and since it's mainly mono blue besides these guys right here um you're, you have no problem with that so you know hope you guys like this deck profile like and subscribe definitely hit up those comments man i want to hear you i want to see what y'all got for deck profiles i want to know what y'all think would be amazing in this deck and please share this video hit that big ass subscribe button man let's get this uh, channel to a thousand subscribers i'm planning on doing some giveaways i i will be giving away some of these boxes i ordered a few of them i got the starter decks i'm gonna be giving away i also bought a lot of the uh pro what are they called the premiums packs those promotion packs the ones with the two toas and stuff like that i bought a bunch of those too so those will be also be given away as well so let's get it going man yo thank you yo i'm out